Hey guys, it's Tawny. So I've already done a video today, so you'll probably see me in the same little outfit in one of my other videos. So that's why I have the same outfit on. No judgment. Um, I'm just going to film a quick video of the books that I received for Christmas. And some of them I actually got like a gift card to go buy books. So that's, yeah. Some of them are ones that I've bought. But I'm going to do the ones that I actually got for Christmas first. Um, and I'm really excited for this. I wasn't expecting this at all. My boyfriend, um, this is one of the surprises that he did for me for Christmas. But um, he got me City of Fallen Angels, which is book four in the Moral Instrument series. I have the uh, first three, so he got me that. But not only, not only did he get me that, he got me ooh, book five. <laughs> City of Lost Souls, which I kind of freaked out a little bit on the inside, a little bit, a little bit, because I was not expecting him to get me all of this. I wasn't expecting him to get me, you know, anything, but I was so excited when I opened this because I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even ask for this stuff, and he just did it for me. Him and my brother were a little sneaky sneaky and did some detective work, but um, yeah, so my Mortal Instrument series is now complete as uh, until City of Heavenly Fire comes out, which is coming out soon. I'm so excited, and we get to see the cover. We finally get to see the cover this month, and it's going to be, we now know, 733 pages, which is insane. It's really long, but it's probably going to be so worth it. As a little bonus, not only did he get me the last two books that I needed to finish off the series, <sighs> Can we just can we just take a second to appreciate how amazing this is? He got me the Shadow Hunter Codex. I mean, how how that's all I could say. I was so excited. This one I actually did ask for, and when I opened it, I was so excited because look at how pretty. And it's I love this because look at how beautiful the inside cover is. I just ah uh, Ah, so pretty. I have some other things um, that I got from family members. I'm going to just reach down here and grab real quick. The first thing is I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga. I'm not pretty sh sure how to pronounce this last name, but that's okay. Um, I am so excited for this book. I just started it last night after I finished Insurgent. Um, if you guys haven't seen my review on that, you need to go watch it. Give it a thumbs up, comment, tell me what you thought about it. But this was actually an early Christmas present from my brother. I He took me shopping for all of my books because he didn't know what to get me. So I picked out everything, but it was still fun to kind of put under the tree and unwrap because I didn't know what I was unwrapping. So that was a lot of fun. This novel is basically about a boy who is in high school. He's dealing with a really bad past. His father is a serial killer. And then people start dying in his high school and everyone automatically assumes that it's him and his name is Jazz. His full name is Jasper. So that's what this is about. It seems pretty exciting. This next book that I got I am so excited for and uh, I also picked this one out but this one's actually from my mom. <sighs> guys, guys, guys. Allegiant. I cannot wait to read this novel. I've been really scared too because I know, I kind of know a little bit of what happens because Instagram people feel the need to post things about the second and third novels even if you haven't read them. So they don't take into consideration that maybe you haven't when they're right in that little caption section. So yeah, that little experience for me is probably a little ruined but I'm still gonna read it it's just made me kind of hesitant too because I don't want to cry and I know that I'm probably gonna cry in this novel but I'm still really excited for it um and I will be reading that soon because I just finished Insurgent like I said and I'm I'm just I'm ready I'm ready to know what happens all right the next novel that I got um and the, the last novel that I got from a person my brother a person that I got from my brother is Infamous um, by Sherilyn Kenyon and this is the third novel in the Chronicles of Nick series. I've already read the first one. My friend Amanda actually got me the second novel for Christmas so I don't have that here with me. She still has it but 
this the first novel this was so great i have a review of it if you guys want to kind of know more about the backstory but basically this guy nick is 16 in the first novel and his eyes kind of become open to this whole new world of vampires and zombies etc um but i'm excited to finish this novel i haven't read the back of it so i don't really know you know what really happens in the last novel but I'm excited I started reading this series kind of on a whim like I, I hadn't heard anything of it I kept seeing it in Chamberlain's and I was like oh maybe next time maybe next time and I finally picked it up and I actually really loved it so I'm excited to finish out the series after I finish the second book which I believe is Infinity unless that's the first one uh, one second no. Yes. Oh, Invincible. That's the second one. So once I get finished Invincible, I will read this and I will review it for you guys. I'm excited for this one. I, lo I really love Sherilyn uh, Kenyon's writing. I think she's fantastic and does a really great job at portraying Nick in this novel. Now on to the books that I got. I got a gift card for $25 from one of my brother's friends, Two Books a Million, because he lives with us and he just felt really nice and bought me a Christmas present and <sighs> it was awesome. I didn't know about this, but Books a Million has a whole section of like teens books and most of them are super marked down. I mean like $3.97, you can't really see that, $3.97, yeah, $3.97 for this book that's actually pretty popular on at least in the booktube community I've been seeing a lot of reviews for it but I was just like what the downside is though that like they have the evolution of Myra Dyer for I think it was like six bucks but the first novel is still full price it's I just I don't understand but you know still but this is the first book that I picked up with my very awesome $25 gift card which is Unwind by at this point in time, I hadn't realized that his name was Neil Schusterman, but that's Neil what it is, Schusterman, not Schusterman. Um, as far as I know, this is a dystopian novel, and I haven't really read too much about it. I just, like I said, I'd seen reviews about it, and I looked it up on Goodreads, and it had good ratings, so I was like, yeah, I'll try it. And I've heard that this book is super creepy, and I've been in the mood for creepy novels, so I, I probably will read it soon, but if I don't, I might save it for Halloween. Um, next year just so that I kind of have something creepy to read but I'm excited to start this series because like I said I've heard that it's really wonderful and really gets under your skin a little bit and I like novels like that so I like dystopian in general. The next novel I got is the first book The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer in the series. I didn't buy the second book even though it was so cheap just because I don't know if I'm gonna like this and even though it does have good ratings I always just kind of like to be safe. So I'm excited for this novel because I think it's gonna be really great. I've heard so many great things about it and it sounds really cool. I have like I said I don't know too much about this either. I kind of just I like to go into reading books without knowing too much about them because I don't want to have any like preconceived ideas about the characters or what I think they should be. So I don't know too much about this but it seems really good. And the cover's really cool. I mean, it's kind of scary, but it's cool. So, yeah. The next book that I decided to pick up was the first book in the Lux series. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I I picked it up before I looked at reviews of it, and I was kind of like, eh, it doesn't really seem like my cup of tea. But then the more I, I looked into it and read the synopsis and, and everything, I was like, oh, well, maybe I should try it because it does sound cool, and it's set in a time that is different from ours, so I'm probably going to be able to learn a little bit about that era. And, I mean, look at how beautiful her dress is. It's very large, which I'm not too crazy about, you know, the super large dresses, but at the same time, that was fitting for that era. So, beautiful cover. I'm excited to read it, and it was only $3.97 because Books a Million is awesome. Lastly, a book that... I'm a little embarrassed to say that I got because I was not paying attention and I picked up the third book in the Halo series. This book was only $5.97 so I was thinking oh great deal the cover is really pretty. I kind of been looking for another series like Hush Hush and you know it says it right here best-selling author of Halo and Hades and I just didn't pay attention. 
Not at all. And then I get home and I type it in to look it up on Goodreads. First off, really bad ratings, so I don't know how I feel about going into this. Literally one stars throughout the entire Goodreads comment section and rating section. And even the first and second novels have really poor ratings, so I'm a little nervous. I'm going to keep it just in case I do like the first and second novels, but we'll see. So yeah. This was the last novel I got, and it's the last one I have to show you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really would love to hear what you guys got for Christmas, whether it be books or anything else. Leave it down in the comments. Leave me a video response. I'll watch it and let you guys know what I think. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.